good morning guys uh, so uh, today i'll talk about uh, pivots and uh, so uh, somebody uh, said that uh, you know they they are creating a pivot and they want to insert the columns and the rows in the pivots and uh, as you know and in case if you are not aware then let me tell you that uh, pivot when you make the pivots uh, you actually cannot insert any row or column between you know your pivot items right so there is a good way of doing uh, that it's not that you know uh, you can't really do that yes of course in excel with some of the some of the adjustments by incorporating and by introducing those uh, tricks you can actually get your this output and uh, you know it your data will also not be damaged it will remain as it is and it will always update whenever your your this data changes and more and at the same time you can even uh, you know you will be able to do what you exactly looking for so in this case it's like inserting column and rows uh, so let me create a pivot first uh, <coughs> so go to the insert and uh, use this pivot table option or maybe alt dp uh, you can use as a shortcut key and uh, so when you create the pivot uh, let me have these company names and the productions right so now this is a pivot and uh, what exactly he says is that he's not able to insert the rows you know he, w he uh, in fact he says that he wants to create a column between these two items uh, so one is the row label and the sum of the production so you can definitely name them um, <coughs> that's a s separate thing i mean you know uh, but let me just show you since we are actually uh, working on this so what you need to do is uh, make this in the tabular form right so you'll get the company name here not the row uh, you have the protection you have the company name and in case if you think that you know by selecting this column you can insert the column so definitely you are wrong here right because it is not going to actually insert any column here and similarly you can't even insert the row well I'm not sure whether you knew about it but that's how it is right and so what you can do is um, <coughs> as you can use this function uh, copy this data and take it to some another sheet or where, wherever you want it right and do the paste special from here you can click underneath this home tab and there are the options here paste special either you can click on this option or there is another shortcut key which is alt e s alt e s right so when you press the alt e s use this option uh, paste link which is alt e s l the moment you do that <coughs> what will happen is your cells will be automatically linked as you can see if I press F2 they are actually taking all these values from these cells right because I copied them and I pasted them as a link right now do one thing uh, select this column wherever you want to insert the row and right click and do the insert <coughs> okay now it says what you want to do of course I want to insert the column so a column will be inserted now <coughs> now what will happen is uh, you can you know write whatever you want to write here I'm sure if you if you want to insert a column obviously you would have some definitely some aim uh, so I, I really don't have any idea what exactly you can do but yes you can do it like this and similarly uh, you can even select the entire row and uh, you know you can actually insert the row right so does that mean now the table this the data if it is going to be changed in the pivot it is not going to be reflected here let us check so let me change some numbers here let me put this number twenty three thousand dollars and let me put this number as twelve thousand dollars and let me put this number as ten thousand dollars right so let's let us uh, refresh the uh, refresh the pivot and uh, let's check what we have got here yeah so you can check that you know the pivot has refreshed which was but obvious but to your surprise you know these numbers are also changed so that's the way you can actually play around with the table uh, with the pivot table and definitely in pivot you can't insert in, uh, you know columns or rows but by making it the reference with another video you can actually do that so thank you so much for watching this video write me in any email in case if you're looking for further help this is my email id until then Take care and goodbye. Thank you.